EA Sports. It's in the game. EA Sport. It's in the game. Hi there everybody and a big warm welcome to you all to the San Siro Stadium and Alan Smith has made the journey to join me, Martin Tyler. You can feel the tension in the stadium here, they're just epping the acts of the San Siro as we know it around the world. You can just feel it, it's unbelievable, Inter versus Milan. Oh, it's one of my favourite stadiums when it's full and it's packed to the rafters here. Let's have a look at uh, a player on each side. Alan, who could influence the game today? Well, they could. Two crowd favourites, two favourites of the managers as well, and you can understand why, given the talent they've both got. This is the Milan lineup. Diego Lopez starts in goal. Alessio Romagnoli plays alongside Philippe Mexes in central defence. Nigel de Jong plays with Ricardo Montalivo in central midfield. And a partnership with these two strikers up front. This is Inter's lineup. Sami Handanovic starts in goal. Juan Jesus plays with Montoya as the fullbacks. Jeffrey Condogbia plays with Gary Medel in central midfield. In attack, Mauro Icardi joins up front with Rodrigo Palacio. 
Well, there have been some awkward times for Milan recently. One thing that's never, never decreased is the impact of this stadium. I know they share it, um, but it is a proper football amphitheatre. It certainly is when it's full. I don't know if make a, a noise, these fans, and uh, the fact that they do share it with Inter doesn't seem to detract from the, the atmosphere they do create. San Milano is the official today. Hi everybody, welcome to you all. Martin Myler here along with Alan Smith. Uh, Alan's been assessing the conditions. Uh, it's raining. Is that going to help the attackers, do you think? Well, it normally does. It tends to lead to one or two mistakes from defenders. Look at the forecast beforehand. I don't think this rain's going to let up. Liverpool against Manchester United. It's such a, a serious rivalry, a very close rivalry. Of course, the city's not much more than 30 miles apart. Yeah, well, of course, United down the years have had the upper hand, but this is a good Liverpool side that we're going to see today, and they could cause one or two problems. Alan, when you were playing, I guess Liverpool were the side to beat. If you finished above Liverpool, you'd win the league, and you did, of course, a couple of times. Well, that's right. And Anfield was a fortress. Times have changed, but uh, everybody concerned with his football club will be hoping that they can regain that place in English football and on the European stage. But for a long period, this was a place where Manchester United seemed to be totally unbeatable. But then they've had one or two changes of management, of course, which is always likely to happen when Alec Ferguson retired after so many years. And some of the visitors have been able to come away with points which uh, they would never have expected to get in the past. Yeah, maybe the fear factor has diminished and it's such sort of the manager that's in place at the time. Trying. So here we are for the kickoff. Looking forward to seeing how Milan do today. Nigel Dio, Gary Meda, Condog Beer. Can he do it? Good width in the attack here. Palacio! That's the goal! Oh, that's a fantastic goal! The jubilation from Inter and their players, particularly the goal scorer and the manager, probably changing his half-time team talk now. Without doubt, and he's not the win at the sounds of the opposition. Look at him. Well, he's point-blank range, but you've got to be there to score. You've got to be there to miss it as well, but he didn't. And that has opened the score. diminished, and it's such the manager that's in place at the time to try and build that back up again. For my part, I never scored here, so... It, wasn't a favourite ground of mine. And the referee today, Martin Atkinson. James Milner. Adam Lallana. It's a great understanding here. That's a penalty it had to be. For a striker, it's not quite a gimme, but it's certainly one that he wanted to take. He did, he did, and uh, the keeper was in two minds which way to go. Different angle on it here. Liverpool have the lead here. This last attack produce a winning goal. It's possible. Well, the 90 minutes has been played now, and the referee calls a halt with the teams definitely still level. here to lose and to lose by such a narrow margin Alan yeah they put the part all right didn't they they give it the best but not quite enough in the end
support play from his teammates. And now the shot. And the goalkeeper got a touch to that. Fine save. Shots on here. Inter have a corner here. Good width in the attack here, looking for Palacio. Goes for goal. Oh, that's a fantastic goal. Now the possibility for a cross. Palacio. Good try, off the post. Balotelli, goal. It's down to him now, just to make it absolutely clear. If he scores, his team have won the shootout. And he scored, and they've won it. Well, just when you need a cool head, he has provided it.